Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very highly requested wavy hair tutorial. You guys have been asking for this for literally forever. Um, so I'm going to show you how easy it is to get this hairstyle today. So the first thing you want to do is take your hair out of your nasty, crusty, busty, messy bun. Get it down, brush it out, get yourself looking a little bit more cute and presentable, okay? This is actually third day hair for me, so I'm going to be throwing a lot of dry shampoo up into this mess here. I usually would style this on like freshly washed blow dried hair, but it also is a really, really awesome hairstyle for hair that's like on the way out and like technically probably should be washed, but you don't want to wash it yet. This adds a ton of volume to your hair. So anyway, I'm sectioning it off, putting a little bit up on top and then doing two sections on the bottom, brushing that out. And then after I style it, you'll see I'm going to put some dry shampoo. You're going to see right now the reason I was so hesitant to even do this video because it's so easy. I literally just take a flat iron and crimp my hair up and down and up and down. What I'm doing is kind of like a medium crimp. If you want it less, just push the iron up and down a little bit less, not quite as deep. And if you want it to be more of a deep crimp, spend a little bit more time pushing it down and like flick your wrist back a little bit more, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna be doing each section here. I would say about a one or two inch section. And I tend to do this with a section that is vertical versus horizontal, because then when the wave falls, it kind of falls differently in each section, if that makes sense. So you'll see that some of them I do, and I take the hair a little bit more of a vertical section, and some pieces I take a little bit more of a horizontal section. I like to just kind of switch it up to give my hair a little bit more texture and make sure the waves aren't all laying exactly the same. That gives it a little bit more of that natural look. So for me personally, my hair, when I let it air dry, it looks like this. This is just a more polished version because my hair tends to be really frizzy. I'll try and find a picture of it when it was just naturally dried and put it up on the screen right here. So you'll see it's really similar. This is just kind of a more polished version. So if you're somebody who's always wanted a wavy texture hair, this is a really good way to mimic that and make it look natural, even if you don't have it. So I'm sure you're picking up on how easy this is. <laughs> it really is this easy. It just takes a little time to do it, obviously. Um, I have really, really thick hair and like a lot of it. So it takes me a long time. If your hair isn't quite as thick as mine, it probably would be done in no time. So after I complete a section, I'm just going in with dry shampoo. This is one of my favorites. You can get it at like Target, Walmart, like pretty much any normal drugstore. Um, so I'm just spraying that into the roots. You'll see it gives it a lot more volume and texture. You can spray it through the length too if you're not worried about it drying out your hair too much. And then we're gonna move on to the top section. The other thing I really love about this hairstyle is you don't lose a lot of length on your hair. Sometimes when you curl it, I feel like it makes your hair look shorter and this doesn't really do that. It kind of leaves the length of your hair. And I love how this looks since my hair is really long. It kind of gives you that mermaid vibe. Loved this. I literally lived in this hairstyle all summer long, but this is something that could very easily transition into a fall look just for kind of like an easy breezy, makes it look like you tried a lot harder than you actually did type of hairstyle. And it also just switches it up from like the normal straight hair or the normal curls. So unlike a normal curled hairstyle, I don't do anything different on the top sections of hair from the bottom sections of hair. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I curl my hair, I do the front pieces differently to frame my face. And I don't do that at all with this style. I just do the same up and down motion with the flat iron on every section of hair. This just makes it look super effortless and I don't know, it's just a really easy, breezy hairstyle and you can just kind of flip it around. I don't know, for me personally, when my hair is so long, I kind of flip it around from side to side. I don't know if anyone else has the habit of doing that, but it looks the same on all sides. So the only thing I would say is if you have bangs, maybe take that into consideration and try to blend that with the piece next to it. But other than that, if you just have long layers like me, you don't have to do anything different. So just hitting the top with dry shampoo, probably a little bit more vigorously than the bottom because your girl's part was a little greasy, but we got that fixed up and here is the look. So as you can see, I kind of push my hair on the top from side to side. You still keep your length. 
It's just really, really awesome. I love it so much. This is literally one of my go-to favorite hairstyles ever. All right, so here is the hair finished. You guys can hairspray it if your hair doesn't hold texture very well, but since my hair is kind of more naturally like this, I usually don't have trouble um, with the style holding. I will hairspray it if I'm like going somewhere outside and I know it's gonna be like humid and hot or something like that. But otherwise, I just kinda let it do its thing. Just do its little crazy thing, volume thing. So now you guys probably see why I was a little hesitant to even do a tutorial because it is just that easy. But I feel like this is a more sophisticated crimp and I just really love how it looks. This was kind of my hairstyle of the summer and I feel like this is totally something that can transition really beautifully into fall because it just is such a natural like easy breezy kind of look if you know what I mean. The only difference between today and when I normally would do it is that normally I just do this on just freshly blow dried hair. Um, I wouldn't have normally straightened it already and then also I don't usually use dry shampoo unless it is like second or third day hair that I'm doing this on so that was the case today so I did add some dry shampoo just so that my roots looked a little nicer and had a little bit more volume but again that's totally optional so yeah that's it for the hair tutorial super easy right so I hope you guys try it if you do definitely make sure to tag me in your pics you know I love to see your faces so that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one bye